And it's your boy A1 from Stars Game. We out here making Madden moves. First thing first, man, go shoot us a follow at SoCal underscore esports. Uh, send us subscribe to show some support. We're doing this thing. We're doing this thing. We're doing this thing. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Mutt. Let's go ahead and hit that transition right now on this new little OBS setup. All right, so you guys, so Madden, bro, I don't, well, let me start here. I don't know if you guys like um, when I show face or don't show face. Um, so I just don't know. So as I continue to grow, just let me know in the comment section off top, like, hey, do y'all need to see me or y'all really care to see me or do y'all like what I'm just talking about? Uh, let me know what y'all prefer. I'm more, I'm more, I like connecting. There'll be times where I have videos when I am talking, but sometimes I like to just kind of get on here like podcast vibes and like talk my little shit. You know what I mean? So we're talking mutt. I love mutt. I've just got into. I'm fairly actually new to mutt because I've never been a big fan of mutt because I've always played. I played football growing up and playing college ball, so I never had an opportunity to get into the mutt. So I'm like two or three years in now into mutt, and I love it. I love the competition. Uh, but when it comes to competition, you gotta know who to put down, put out there in the field, and like what type of quarterbacks you guys can win with. Win with. For me, for example, I like running the spread option, and I like running the spread. So I didn't need a quarterback and throw the ball downfield like Patrick Mahomes or throw, uh, have a quarterback on Lamar if I'm trying to run it. And if I can get both like a Vic that can do, you know, the throwing downfield and run the ball, then we're deadly. You know what I mean? That's when things get real scary. So when we're talking about rolling with like quarterbacks and I'm big on talking like spread because I'm a spread. I'm big on spread. So I'm not sure how a lot of you guys do things. But if you're on this channel and you run some type of shotgun offense, I, continue, I suggest you continue to watch to figure out kind of like the best mutt quarterbacks to go about uh, to use. So when we're looking at these mutt cards, we're going to have purple cards, and the purple cards are the power-ups, okay? With the power -ups, what happens with the power-ups, and I wish someone would explain to me this earlier, with the power-ups, it allows you to bump up your players uh, to different type, like different attributes, so like you can focus on certain things, and it's just like an attribute card that you're like, okay, this is my player, and I'm going to keep him throughout the year. I don't want to change him. I don't want to trade him. Like, this is my guy. So when you're starting off in mutt, I suggest off top when it comes to the quarterback position that you figure out a quarterback that you like from the jump, get a purple card, and then rock with that the whole entire year. If you don't want to use him, it'll be much cheaper for you to just go ahead and just keep him unless you know you're just going to move on. So when you start off the year, they're not starting off with bad quarterbacks. Cause I mean, there's, we got Lamar, we got Patrick, and we got Russell. Me personally, if I'm playing, I'm going to be rolling with Patrick Mahomes off top for the first part of the um, – for the beginning of Mutt. I might try out Lamar Jackson, but I'm leaning a lot towards Patrick Mahomes because what happens is when, he hit, when you put the purple thing on him too, like the power-up card – and you're using your Elite 88 because that thing up down low that you see, you see that little purple? Let me use my mouse right now. Oh, you can't. But you see that purple thing below the UT, Ultimate Team, below the card? That's like a power-up. So he has a power-up. So when he powers up, he's probably going to have 89. And if you put Sprinter on him as well or some type of like uh, attribute too as well, it's going to bump him up. So you're really looking at like a 90 Patrick Mahomes and Patrick Mahomes in the beginning of Madden with like 90 throwing power because you'll be able to put different chemistries on your quarterbacks and things like that. So I'm rocking with Patrick Mahomes off top because of the fact that Patrick Mahomes can throw the ball deep. And I don't think I'm going to necessarily need the read option the way I think I would in the beginning of the game because of the fact that things are going to be a lot slower. So you'll definitely be able to read coverages um, with guys like Patrick and throw that ball downfield. Yes, I have my Instagram connected, so sometimes it'll show up. So I like Patrick because of the fact he's got 88 throw power. Um, and he can just throw the ball and throw power pretty much. Throw power is that's pretty much why I like Patrick, and he's pretty damn good. And then over the years, you'll be able to upgrade him. Not over the years, but throughout the year, you'll be able to upgrade him, knowing that they're going to bring out new cards for him. So invest in Patrick if you can get Patrick. I also suggest that you uh, invest in Lamar. If you want a quarterback that can run, I mean, there's two different types of quarterback. Like, Russell's pretty smooth. Like, he doesn't really have the best of speed, so I'm not really talking because that 78 is not going to cut it. And then he can't, like, throw the ball downfield, so... I mean, what's he going to do? Throw, I mean, you could throw short routes, but most likely you're going to get picked off. Like, you need some more throwing power on there. Packers got good throwing power. Make sure you guys rock with him. Lamar, great speed. I think they give us a Mutt reward card or something like that. Um, Lamar will have some great speed. He's 86 overall. Um, 88 speed, that's going to be very, very filthy in the read option game. He'll break away most times for touchdowns. So if you're looking to read, run, run read option, you're still trying to fill it out. I recommend you either try out, get Lamar and try out Patrick. 
but run some head to head. Don't get straight into salary cap with that. Test out and kind of get a feel for what you guys feel like is going to work. Uh, but I do know off top for one thing, if you're going to come with Patrick Mahomes, make sure you have some fast receivers out there that can run, 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 run downfield. And if you're going to run Lamar, make sure you got some receivers that can run downfield as well. Uh, people won't really respect your pass game as much in regards to just putting guys deep. But for the most part, you'll be able to run read option if you're a spread guy, which will help out a lot. Um, after that, man, it kind of just go down the list. I don't really like a lot of these guys. I think down the line, I think down the line, these guys might get better. But not being able to throw downfield, man, I, that kills. That like really kills um, your offense because it's just like you're just short and you can just bring guys around scrimmage. It can just get really bad. So outside of Lamar and Mahomes, off top from the beginning of Mutt. I suggest I'm not really feeling these other quarterbacks. Maybe Russell, if you like some like short, immediate, intermediate, like accurate stuff. Like uh, maybe rock with Russell. Um, Big Ben ain't even got no arm no more. They doing him dirty with the 86. I know he throw farther than Lamar, but I'm definitely rocking with um, Lamar and Patrick. I keep saying it, but please, Lamar and Patrick. Daniel Jones is okay. He's got a little arm on him. He can run downfield. No power up though. Keep that in mind. He has no power up. Okay. Big Ben has a power up, so who may be able to bump up? Uh, Tom Brady, obviously. Darnold does not. Teddy does not. Um, these I'm not really feeling these guys. Even like they did Aaron Rodgers dirty with the 83, and he's not really have much of an arm either. I love big arms. Not everybody's like that, but I mean we'll see. 76 to Sean Watson down the line. He could probably be more effective, um, but that is kind of what it is for now. Um, this reward card they'll give you guys out. That'd be cool. 82, you can bump them up, throw them into the thing. Because they give you guys this reward card, I think he's going to go in there for an 81, two, uh, 81 bump up. So it'll be good to have him in there. Make sure you guys get that card. So I think you get it for free, so you guys can put that in. Outside of that, I'm not really feeling these guys. Um, no disrespect to nobody. You know what I mean? I'm just not necessarily feeling these guys. As they continue to go down, I'm not feeling any of these guys down here. Josh Allen, 89 throw power, cool. Uh, but Kenny, is he accurate? Hell no, he's not accurate. Kyle Merrily, speed guy, but I mean, can he throw the ball? Not really. If you're trying to win, I, please come with either Patrick Mahomes or uh, who got 76 too. Oh, he's a power up 76. That's nice. Make sure you guys are coming either Patrick Mahomes or um, Lamar Jackson off, off top from the beginning of the game. Don't mess around with that. Maybe Russell. That's not a bad idea. Maybe Russell, but I suggest that you come with those guys for uh, the beginning of the game. These other guys, it kind of just goes down. Um, <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad out here. It's really bad regards to quarterbacks. And you're not going to see a lot of run game. You might see some run game with guys trying to run the ball, but you're probably not going to see it. Um, so, again, be ready to come with Patrick and um, what's his name? Oh, boy, uh, Lamar. Um, that's pretty much for the quarterbacks I wanted to break down for Match 21. The game's going to be coming out soon. I don't, really know, I don't really know much what to do in regards to content. I'm kind of just going my own way, kind of like informing you all stuff that I know about so I can help you all out. Uh, continue to subscribe, continue to show your support. I do appreciate you guys uh, for tuning in and then commenting, liking, and things like that. We're going to continue to grow this thing. Uh, your boy, one is out.